Man, this is why I love the legacy. Check this out. Oh, the car's up. There we go. That was supposed to go a little smoother, but look at that. Boom. Alright, so this is the Devon Bike Park. I've been here many times before, but I've never filmed it, so that was the skills area that we just hit over there. And now we're heading over this way to the dirt jumps. There's kind of a flow trail here and some bigger dirt jumps up top. We're heading to the smaller dirt jumps over here. And then there's a trail over here called Disciple 13. And it is on Trail Forks. I don't have my phone right now, so I'm gonna hope I can find it here. I think it's just up by the church, up over this way. But for now, we have some pretty rock and dirt jumps here. And we're gonna film some cool clips. Some of my introductory videos to YouTube. Uh, there was a clip of this place here, Devon Bike Park. So we're gonna sh uh, sesh these dirt jumps for a few minutes here and then go find a new trail that I've never hit before. Alright, so the dirt jumps are a little wet. I'm not gonna hit them because I don't want to be known as somebody who wrecks dirt jumps. So, I'm gonna head over this way. There is a pump track down here. Sorry, I'm trying to steer with one hand. Let's try out the pump track. Good stuff, okay, let's go hit those trails. All right, so I think we found it, Disciple 13. So I was just roaming around the church behind the, the Devon Church here, right by the bike park, and found a little jutway through the grass. And I think this is it. So it starts out with some wooden features here and a plank. And I saw a YouTube video from a guy um, a couple months ago, and it just said, May Long Quarantine Rides. And it was this trail, I'm pretty sure. And I asked, I commented, and I said, where is this trail? Like, I want to hit this. And he said, it's in Devon. So hopefully this one's it. I wasn't planning, planning to film today, so I didn't bring any camera equipment, really, just my GoPro. So I'm just going to bite it with my mouth, and hopefully the quality's OK. If you hear some huffing and puffing, that's me. And if you see some drooling, that's also me, because it's hard to hold your mouth open and hold the camera. So let's try it out. Hopefully it goes well. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> oh man. I was not expecting this. Holy crap, this is steep and it's a little wet right now. I don't know which way to go. That way looks wet. We're going this way. Oh, what the heck? I think we're pretty much at the bottom now. Well, we'll walk a little further here and see what's going on. Got the hiccups now. No, I don't like walking through sludge. This is kind of the grody. Excuse me. Ew. All right, so the end of that trail was just muck and crap, and I was surprised where it kicked out. It actually kicked out right by the dirt jumps there after the, the first set of dirt jumps. And I'd never looked in there before. So now we're climbing up the legs of fire stairs. We made it up a little bit so far, and we're gonna keep going up. All right, so I walked up the legs of fire stairs. Now I'm up here and I saw this trail intersected with the legs of fire trail. This is called the Trans Canada Trail. Now, Sarah, my girlfriend and I were talking yesterday about my cousin, who funny enough, her name is Sarah as well. And my cousin, Sarah Jackson, walked across Canada. Just let that sink in for a second. And I'm pretty sure this is the trail she took, the Trans Canada Trail. So she would have walked through Devon, Alberta here and walked down these stairs and just kept going. So we're going to follow this Trans Canada Trail for a little bit and see what Sarah would have walked for. I don't even know how many kilometers it is across Canada, but that is insane. Like Sarah and I were talking yesterday. Uh, yesterday we just got back from Saskatchewan and we did our little uh, cross province trip. And we were just talking how it was a long haul driving home from Prince Albert uh, National Park and Waska Sioux, and it was about 700 kilometers home. It took about seven hours or so. We thought that was a big deal. <sighs> driving home for seven hours. Imagine walking across Canada. That is so insane. And uh, anyway, no more blabbing, let's get to it. <laughs> Canada the trail, baby. Let's do this. All right, well, I'm gonna check this out a little further. If I find anything interesting, I'll turn the camera back on. All right, so we took the upper paved River Valley Trail on the way up. I apologize for the construction noise, but we're just going to take a right up here, head back to where we parked down at the skills area. And that's about it. So short video, short and sweet, but thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bonus clip. Okay. We got it really muddy. So now we're just going to shoot all the mud off here. You probably can't hear me because it's really windy, but here we go. Oh. Ha 
Aha. All right, this time for real. I'll see you later. Have a good one.